On this week's episode of JAG TV, we take a look into this year's play, what trophies are being brought home from South, and how South students have been showing their support for Miss Walls. From Blue Spring South High School, this is the award-winning JAG TV. Hey Jags, I'm Griffin Heidi. And I'm Kate Willie. We begin this broadcast with exciting news. For the first time in school history, we have brought back the state championship for girls cross country. Congrats to Coach Unruh and all the cross country girls. Also, a special congratulations to Maya Chober for placing fifth. Another congratulations to our ROTC team for being the national championship runner up. Our Raider team tied for first place, finishing second in the nation in a tough tiebreaker. A great way to end the season. Now let's take a look into the magical play coming up here at South. Grab your wands and come out to enjoy the show. Here's Charlie with the story. As we've heard before, there were the auditions for the Harry Potter spoof, Puffs. Congratulations to all who have made it thus far. Now, tis time for the cast and staff to start brewing their magic as they rehearse. This time, going full out with the makeup and costumes. Yeah, the production's going uh, great. We uh, are just finishing up the last touches of lighting and getting all the, the props going and getting the mics there. And um, I feel really excited about the play. It's a comedy play, which is always the best because it's just more enjoyable for everyone, no matter what. And we have some really funny people that are in it, so I think it's just going to be really fun to watch. So I'm just really excited, and it's crazy that it's next week. The production itself is like very hard. Like everything is just a lot more stepped up. Uh, there's so many more props, so many, so much more lighting. Uh, the set is huge, so just it's a really hard play, but I think it's it's really worth it. Show times are November 11th through the 13th at 7 p.m. November 13th at 1 p.m. is when a sign language interpreter will be there. I love it. It is super fun, and our, we have a bunch of new members this year, so it's going to be good. What I love most about Wayna is she's the main character, so the story follows along with her, and I've, I've never had a character like that before where you uh, drive the plot of the whole story. Tickets are $7 for adults and $5 for students at the door or online. So this sounds like a play that you definitely do not want to miss. It sounds magical and fun. So if you want to get your tickets, all you have to do is go to the link bsshs.seatyourself.biz. I'm Charlie Fuller for JAG TV. Thanks, Charlie. This year we have five National Merit Commended students. These five students have ranked in the top 3% out of all the juniors that participated in the 2020 PSAT. Damian Broyles, Ashley Cooper, Joseph Eaton, Rodwa Howladar, and Alexander Kaufman. If you see them, be sure to congratulate them. Senate has been selling pink bracelets in the Commons to support Miss Walls in her battle against breast cancer. Hot pink and light bracelets are $3, and multicolor are $5. All the money will go towards Miss Walls. Now, let's take a look at a memorable soccer game that took place at South recently. Here's Avery with more. A true friend to many, genuine and kind, your wife's true love, that is hard to find. The next season without you will not be the same. We know you'll be with us at each and every game. Our coach, mentor, and friend, it's not fair, but you will always be with us, Coach Cher Bear. The annual Sheridan Strong game took place on Thursday, October 21st. Our South Jaguars hosted our crosstown rivals, Blue Springs, as they honored and remembered late coach Sheridan. Uh, this is, I believe, the fifth year that we've done the Sheridan Strong soccer game. Um, my family really appreciates the support from the school and just the ability to kind of remember my husband. Players and coaches were able to remember Coach Sheridan and honor other cancer fighters and survivors during the game. The Sheridan game, it means a lot to me, you know. I played for Coach Dave as a child and, you know, to perform in a big game like that and score three goals, it's, it's really big. And myself, I'm a cancer survivor and I'll be five years lymphoma free in January. It's just massive to play for the Sheridan family and everyone out there battling. And as you can see, the Sheridan Strong Game was a great success as we continue to honor Coach Sheridan and his family. I'm Avery Rayler for JAG TV. Thanks, Avery. Be sure to get yourself a bracelet this week. After the break, we take a look at the best coffee in Blue Springs.
Hi, uh, my name is Brett Alexander. I've been coming to Dahlquist Dental for uh, something like 10 years now. It's the best experience I've ever had at a dentist's office. It's awesome. It really means a lot to be able to take your kids somewhere and that they feel safe and you know that they're going to have a good experience. Everyone here is so nice, so helpful. If you ever have a question about anything, you can just call up. Um, it's it's amazing. Ow. Man, you know you really need to call Mox and Pest Control. They kill bugs fast. Don't let pests throw you off your game. With more than 20 years of experience, Moxie Pest Control provides safe, high-quality treatment for your home or business. Our licensed technicians work inside and out to keep your space free from occasional invaders. Toss your worries away and choose a winning service today. Visit killbugsfast.com. There are first days, long days, day after day after day and days you've worked so hard for. So today, let's focus on turning your retirement dreams into reality. Because to solve the big challenges of tomorrow, take simple steps today. At Country Financial, when you're ready to start, we're ready to help. Call your financial representative, Stephen Perch, at 816-795-6232. News from South High School in the city of Blue Springs. You're watching JAG TV. This year, FFA students will be selling poinsettias that they have been growing in the school's greenhouses at the Freshman Center. If you are interested in purchasing them, reach out to Mr. Wallen. Also, be sure to check out our latest JAGcast. Abby interviews theater president Lizzie Ralston about this week's big fall play at South. Watch it on our website, jagtvnews.com, or on our YouTube channel. Are you a coffee drinker? If so, you might want to check this out. <laughs> Today we'll be taking a look at a local coffee shop on Main Street. One thing that I love about working at Scout Coffee is the environment and the community built around it. We have great staff here who are super friendly. The cute design and workers at Scout's Coffee is what gives you a more cozy and welcoming feeling than most coffee shops. Hi, my name is Maddie and I've been a barista at Scout Coffee for almost a year now. Um, I just really love this environment and how friendly it is and how we really get to connect with the customers and build like connections with them. Scouts Coffee offers drinks like coffee, lattes, hot chocolate, and iced tea. Right now we have our fall menu that includes maple spice, brown sugar, and pumpkin pie lattes. Um, we also have a student happy hour between the hours of 2.30 and 5 and a teacher discount. They also sell homemade food like Pop-Tarts, brownies, cookies, vanishes, and muffins. But then we also have like a huge list of fun lattes that are really unique like the root beer float latte, the snickerdoodle latte, the Nutella latte, and just all kinds of fun things so that everyone can find something they like. They also have free Wi-Fi so you can come in and do homework after school and maybe grab a coffee while you're there. To get the coffee you want in Ega, 1400 Main Street. I'm Caden Martin, back to you. One of our seniors auditioned for the Missouri All-State Choir. Anna Miller is one of the eight best altos in the KC Metro. This is a huge honor, so be sure to congratulate her as well. Here's Nathan with reminders. Thanks, Griffin. As said earlier, school play is this Thursday the 11th at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students and $7 for adults. You can order tickets online or at the door. Thanksgiving break starts on Wednesday the 24th, getting us three days off of school. A five-day weekend in total. The Mayor's Christmas tree lighting returns this year on November 30th at 6.30 p.m. in downtown Blue Springs. Attendance will be free, with free food and choir performances from three schools from the district. Sounds like a fun time. That's it for reminders. Here's Bradley with City State Nation. Thanks, Nathan. In City News, the population of Blue Springs has grown substantially in the past few years. Anticipating even more growth in due time, the City Council has adjusted boundaries of the city's three districts. Households affected by the change will be notified by mail in the coming weeks. In state news, Kansas City, Missouri may be receiving an ordinance mandating masks indoors exclusively for ages 18 years younger. If the Council Committee approves it, adults may enter indoors mask-free. Bear in mind that this ordinance is only for Kansas City. The Jackson County mandate is scheduled to stay until November 11th. Perhaps this could be the beginning of the end for the mask mandates? More updates will come in the near future. 
In nation news, a vaccine mandate for teachers and school staff has gone into effect in Santa Barbara, California. Around 10 teachers have been placed on an unpaid leave, and another 70 have applied for religious exemption. But if the vaccines are not received by December 17th, they will also be placed on unpaid leave, and possibly termination. Many impacted teachers have decided to fight against the mandate in the court of law. That's all for City, State, and Nation. I'm Bradley Benton. Now on to Nolan for the COVID update. Thanks, Bradley. Let's take a look at this week's COVID update. Last week, there were 30 new cases in the Blue Springs School District. Only one of those was due to school-related spread. Due to exposure, 32 students and staff members were quarantined district-wide, and so far there have been 489 cases this school day. Moreland Ridge is the school in the district with the most cases, coming out to a total of six cases this week. There have been 114 cases in eastern Jackson County per 100,000 people in the last seven days. This is 32.68 lower than last week. Vaccination numbers are going up with 55.72% of the population in Jackson County having at least one dose and just under half, 49.99% of the population having both doses. That's all for this week's COVID update. Remember to mask up and stay safe. I'm Nolan Baker, back to you, Kate. Last Tuesday, we welcomed a new JAG. Congrats to Miss Perry on her firstborn baby girl, Lowen Ann Perry. Make sure to congratulate her. Now we take a look into Husky Vision at Moreland Ridge Middle School. Hello Jags, this is Isabel here with a brief with a brief update about what's happening around Moreland Ridge. On Monday, we kicked off our winter sports season, starting with boys and girls basketball tryouts, as long as wrestling practice. Also, the cast and crew of Annie Jr. have been working hard for their first performance next week, November 11th. They will have three performances through November 11th through the 13th. Until next time, thank you Jags for letting us Huskies stop by. Thank you, Moreland Ridge. Now let's see what's going on in Delta Woods in Gator Vision. Hello, I'm Piper Mahon. And I'm Ain Day. We're here to tell you about some very exciting events taking place at Delta Woods Middle School this month. Wrestling is underway as Delta Woods and Moreland Ridge School are combining to form one middle school team. Coach Avery and Coach Creek are thrilled to return as the wrestling team square off against their local middle school this winter. This sport is open to both boys and girls, and the first meet of the season will be November 15th against Belton. The boys and girls basketball team tryouts were held from November 1st to November 5th. Coach Williams of the boy team believes that the Gators have a great shot at being a serious contender this year. Coach Swanson of the girls team is excited about the season as well and can't wait to get the, on the court. Our first game is on November 22nd against Pleasant Lee Middle School. Our school performance this year will be High School Musical Junior. High School Musical Junior takes us through the lives of Troy and Gabriella, two students who challenge stereotypes at East High. Directed by Mrs. Bromley and Mrs. Mankin, with costume designed by Mrs. Mrs. Parrish. High School Musical Junior will run November 18th to 20th. Tickets are $8 for adults and $5 for kids. This has been What's Up at Delta Woods. I'm Aiden Day. And I'm Piper Mahon. Now back to Jack TV Studios itself. After the break, we look into what tasty treats are being made for the fall season. I love working at Chick-fil-A because... I love working at Chick-fil-A because... I love working at Chick-fil-A because... It is so much fun to be hanging out with people that are positive. This place has become my family. And you meet so many great and wonderful people here at Chick-fil-A. Come join our family at Chick-fil-A Blue Springs. You're going to love it too. You can apply online or in person. We'll be glad to have you. Big Frog is offering a great deal right now and giving money back to the school district. Each time you order customized shirts for school clubs and associations, 10% of the total purchase will fund grants and scholarships distributed through the Blue Springs Education Foundation. It's a win-win situation. Design your own t-shirts at the area's largest selection of styles and colors, and money goes right back into the district's Education Foundation. For more information, contact Big Frog at 816-795-1115 or check their website, bigfrog.com slash independence. Hey Jags, Nate here at Culver's. Welcome back to the school year. We got some exciting things to talk about, including a new sandwich. Everybody knows that Culver's Bacon Deluxe is the best burger in town, but every now and then you need to change up anyway. Best go-to, spicy crispy chicken sandwich. 
fresh every single time, sizzling on that fresh crisp lettuce, tomato, and pickle on our fresh Kaiser bun with the butter freshly toasted and the best pairing with the spicy crispy chicken sandwich, the Wisconsin cheddar cheese curds. Now that your mouth's watering, come on down to Culver's. You know where to find us and we can't wait to see you. Jag TV Sports is sponsored by Rod Sports of Blue Springs. Boys and girls cross country team traveled to Columbia for the state finals. The boys ended up with a score of 242 with an 11th place finish. And the girls ended up with a score of 89 beating St. Teresa's Academy by 28 points for a first place finish at state. The Iowa State commit Maya Trover was an all-state finisher in fifth place with a time of 18 minutes and three seconds. This is their fourth straight state trophy and the first time as champions. Congrats to both teams. Our football team faced off against Park Hill South on October 29th for the first game of the district tournament. Park Hill led the half with a score of 7-0. A pass to Luke Seib in the fourth quarter finally put the Jags on the board. Unfortunately, South's last game of the season concluded with a score of 28-6. Our boys swim and dive team placed second overall at districts last weekend and have multiple competitors going to state finals this weekend. The 200 freestyle team consisting of Jacob Suchman, Brody Gilburn, George Barr, and Carter McIntosh placed second. The 400 freestyle team of Sawyer Jackson, Brody Gilburn, George Barr, and Carter McIntosh placed third. Carter McIntosh broke the meet record in the 50 freestyle and George Barr broke the school record in the 100 breaststroke. Our divers all medaled with James Price coming in second overall. Good luck at State, guys. That's all for sports. I'm Quinn Van Wyk for JAG TV. Are you bored or hungry after school? Then you'll definitely want to see what Elise is cooking. Hey, JAGs. Today, me and my dad are going to be making pumpkin spice cookies, perfect for the upcoming holiday season. Let's get to it. First, you will need to have all of the following ingredients enabled to complete. Feel free to pause the video and read or take a screenshot. To begin, you will need to place the flour, baking soda, and powder, salt and spices to a bowl. Then whisk together and set aside for later. Now take a separate bowl and add your butter and sugars together until light and fluffy, then mix in the egg and vanilla. Next you will add in your pumpkin puree and mix it until it is completely combined. After that, you will take the flour mixture from earlier and mix on low until combined. Then you will cover and chill the batter for at least 30 minutes. While you wait, you can begin making your own icing. Here are the ingredients you will need. Mix these together well and set aside. Once your time is up, remove the cookies and begin placing them on your baking sheet and bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 11 minutes. When they're completely baked, go ahead and drizzle on your delicious icing and enjoy your tasty pumpkin spice cookies. Thanks Elise, that looks delicious. Thanks for watching this week's episode of JAG TV. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at JAG TV News. See you next week.